Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact, and I want to play around with video AI video editing tools. So um, the one that I know of already is called Munch. You can see I'm here on their website now. Um, actually, when you sign up for a Munch account, you don't need a credit card. There is a free uh, free plan option. Um, but when you sign up, you're emailed by the CEO, Oren, and he will do a, a little 15-minute demo strategy call with you. So super appreciate that. I've already done the demo call with Oren, so here I am in my account and I'm going to start playing around with some things. So what I want to do first is click right here on Munch, another video. And essentially what I'm doing is taking a longer form video that I've already created. It's already uploaded onto YouTube. It is about using AI to write a blog post. And the video has been doing pretty well in terms of analytics. It's one of our most viewed in um, in relation to the, the amount of time that it's been published on YouTube. So I want to now crop that 10 minute video into smaller bite sized chunks that we could then put on Instagram reels and or uh, YouTube shorts just to get some more visibility to it uh, and the blog post that it's promoting. So let's see. Um, so I clicked on munch. Let's munch another video. <laughs> That's fun to say. What kind of project do you want to create? I want to do this auto clip. So I'm going to click get clips. And then this one is going to be called um, use a I to write a blog post. And then this is going to be, I guess, a how to video. And the YouTube link is right here. I already had that copied. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then let's try YouTube shorts to start. So I'm going to click that and then click create. Now, all right, let's see what this says. So it is analyzing, this is the fun part about Munch, what I like so much is it's analyzing keywords. So you'll see when I get the clips back, um, certain, I think, what is it, company names, um, people's names, and or topics that I mention in the video that I've already recorded, the one that's already out, the 10 minute video on YouTube, it'll find specific keywords. And it's even going to show me how those keywords are ranking. And when I did speak to Oren, this was a couple weeks ago, he had mentioned that there were some major improvements coming to uh, analytics in terms of analyzing these keywords. I'm not sure if all of those um, uh, updates are available now or not, but let's see what's going to happen. Uh, so this is just telling me it's going to find trending subjects and analyze those keywords. It's going to take specific clips of my content. I am able to play around with the aspect ratio. So if I want this to look like a story, right, the, the, the longer, shorter version or a um, Instagram post, it could be a square, right? So I could change that up. And then finalizing is adding adjustable timeframes and smart trimming. Yeah, so I'll be able to play with that. So if I click on, okay, here's the video. Oh, wow, what a lovely picture of me. <laughs> um, here's the video that I uploaded and it's currently processing new clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this recording and I'll come back once this is all loaded and we can start going through uh, to see what clips I got back, which ones we'll end up using and then uh, what we decide to post. Okay, and we're back with uh, 10 clips that I can look through um, that just take short snippets of that longer 10 minute video that I had. So the analytics that I think that we want to look at it. Well, first of all, in my chat with Orion, I had asked him, okay, great. I have all these clips. Which ones do I start with? And he said, um, when the clips come back, they're sorted by Munch score. So Munch will take into account the keywords, the ranking, all of that. And then it puts the video clips in order of what Munch thinks will do the best for uh, YouTube shorts, because that's what I had selected. So you can see the video clips here. Where do I want to start? I guess let's look at the um, stats up here first before we dig into the actual videos. So this is showing me uh, keyword search volume. So these are keywords that I had mentioned in this longer video, right? Uh, it's showing me the search volume. So this I do believe is new from what I've seen um, since I chatted with uh, Oren. So the search volume of these keywords uh, shows me that how many clips contain those keywords and then the competition for the keywords. Cool. And so then on this action, I can just click, like, let's say, for example, and some of these keywords are kind of um, 
what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, generic, maybe like information, partnerships, conclusion, different introduction. I don't know that those are necessarily keywords that people would actually be searching when looking for use AI to write a blog post. Um, let's just see interact. Um, obviously is our company name. Let's click here on the action and this will show us the clip that contains the keyword interact. Okay, so when I clicked on the action right here for interact, these two videos showed up. So it looks like just like it says munched clips, there's two different options that I can select. Now I did watch both of these already. And this one, the first one seems to be a better fit. It essentially takes the first like introduction couple sentences that I gave in the 10 minute video and cuts it down to just 28 seconds. Now at the end of this video of these 28 seconds, it lags like a slightly little bit. So what I can do is click here on edit I guess actually before I edit this, I just want to call out over here. I really like the captions that it gives. So exploring open AI with Jackie. I don't know that it needs to say it. Jackie. Maybe it says with interact because that's a keyword um, that uh, will help to surface our videos and then see what we can create together. Maybe I want to change that up a little bit. And then I can also change out the hashtags or add to the hashtags there. But I like this exploring open AI because that's essentially what we're doing in this video. So what I was going to show you is if you click here on the pencil icon, edit. Um, I'm just going to pause. You, you're able to um, sort of adjust the clip. So what I wanted to do is here at the end, just shorten it a little bit. Let's see if I have to. So maybe I messed up the trimming because it cut me off in the middle of the sentence. Maybe I should have left it as it was. It was at 28 seconds. And I can just use my cursor here to adjust it. Cool. And then how did it start in the beginning? Let's just double check that we don't need to adjust that. I have to drag this little guy to the beginning. And I like how it took the overlay and then zoomed out right away. So perfect. I think I think this video works well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post it. So what I'm going to do is click export. Well, I guess you could play around with, let's see, autofocus. So that's cool. I get a different layout. And you know what I probably would suggest on, I think I'll do this one. I'll do this one this way with the bigger um, video. But if you are sharing screen, I have noticed that the screen share on this size fits a little wonky. So it might be better to use those types of clips like this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this because I like that. Um, the aspect ratio I'm going to leave like this because it's for YouTube shorts. The subtitles all sounded great to me, except can I... I want to delete these. Oh, yay. So just the last two. So instead of adjusting the clip, like I showed you earlier when I hit that pencil icon, um, the video was fine, but it had that so I'm next sentence that didn't need to be included. So really cool that I can adjust it or change it up in the um, captions here. And I think, let's see, chat. This is just. Ah. It's playing, so it's not letting me click on the thing. So where did it go? Right here, I want it to say, pause. There we go. Chat GPT. So everything is spelled correctly, because you know how sometimes the captions come out where it, it 
didn't understand what you said or it, it um, sort of like pushes text together, you're able to clean up the um, subtitles. Very cool. What is a magic post? Cool. So these are all hashtags that I can use. I like that. I'm just going to go ahead and hit copy. Oh, look, you can even, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the YouTube short here. I'm going to click export. Can't wait for this integration. You soon be able to just put it right onto YouTube right away, but I'm going to go ahead and download this, add it to YouTube, and then we will follow up in the comments uh, of this video on how this YouTube short performed when we launch it. So this is a, in a nutshell, this is Munch. Um, if you're looking to cut videos, I'm going to explore a few more tools. So I'll link those videos in the comments below and we'll figure out which platform we like to use most for um, AI video editing. And I'll see you in the next video. And like I said, we'll update the comments to show you how this um, YouTube short did. Very cool. Thank you much.